Welcome back everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Super Sloopers Tournament. We're still on the overview videos, getting close to the end. It's been a long slog recording all these. I've just been <laughs> doing them back to back. they have been going for like, uh, close to three hours now. But uh, that's alright, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I've been enjoying it. A lot of really cool designs. And so up next we've got the SWS1 MK11 by Slane. Coming in just at the budget. Let's get it uh, loaded up. Very black, very dark, very ominous. Managing to look a, a bit futuristic. Also a bit sinister. I like the, uh, the paint and the profile. The rudder's tucked in here and the propellers must be in... Oh, there we go. Yeah, propellers down in the middle. Some big propellers. So is that three of them or just two? Yeah, it looks like maybe just two. But that should be plenty to uh, get this up to a good speed. Large broadside, low profile. This looks like a very nice ship. See if there's anything to be seen inside. Lots of ammo there. It looks like lots of stone armor around the ammo. Well protected. Sort of empty in the middle. And yeah, not not a whole a whole lot of uh, secrets. But yeah, this one looks this one looks deadly. Let's uh, see how it does in a battle. Yes, this is the uh, SWS one MK11 by Slane. That's how it goes. Oops, yeah, fat fingered it. <laughs> Little pause here while the batteries heat up. And there we go, underway. I have a feeling this low profile is going to be really effective for uh, getting its opponents to uh, miss shots. Imagine a lot of these cannon shells are going to bounce and then skip over. There we go, entering the brats. Oh, dude, doing some damage to itself. Taking out some of those corners. Not really going to make much difference. Yeah, causing itself to miss quite a bit. But uh, plenty of shots landing in, a minute in, both clones taking a few hits. Yeah, it takes the damage really well. Both clones at about 90%. Got one minute left. SWS risking being too elusive. I think it's going to just make it. Twenty seconds left. He needs to uh, start getting some damage in. Yeah, I think.
think the broadside distance is just a little bit too high. Yeah, there is the three minute mark. We'll give it uh, like we did with the uh, the House of Vasa. We'll give it just a little bit more time and uh, see how long it takes to actually drop below 80%. And there we go. So almost five and a half minutes. It's nearly twice as long as the required time. We go ahead. I'm gonna give it uh, one more chance. Give it just the three minutes here, and see if that that round was a fluke. I'd hate to uh, disqualify such a nice design um, on, on a just a fluke match, but uh, I have a feeling it's gonna do the same thing. The broadside distance is just a little bit too high. It's uh, not, not able to get effective fire from that range. Actually looks like it's gonna make it this time. So yeah, probably just a fluke. One of the AI making weird choices. Yeah, and there we go, making it in a minute and thirty. So <laughs> who knows? From the depths AI. Alright, uh the uh, SWS1 MK11 makes it in. Thank you very much to Slane. Very nice design. Uh, really, really appreciate it. And um, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you for the next one.